Okay, let's find the volume of a cylinder. Okay, um, so volume means the number of unit cubes that will fit inside, which is kind of silly because unit cubes wouldn't fit nicely inside a cylinder. But if we could cut them and force them to fit inside, volume would be the number of them that would fit inside. So just like when we were working on rectangular prisms, we looked at this um, bottom layer to see how many would fit in the bottom layer, and then multiplied that by the number of layers. You can do the same thing with um, with the cylinder. Now the bottom layer is a circle, so I just need to find the area of the circle. So if my uh, radius is four centimeters, then to find the area of the circle, I just do pi r squared, which would mean three point, excuse me, 3.14 times four times 4. Well, 4 times 4 is 16. So then I just need to multiply um, 3.14 times 16. So 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 2 is 8. 6 times 3 is 18. Placeholder, because I'm not multiplying by 1, I'm multiplying by 10. I'm going to cross out my carries. 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 3 is 3, and add 4, 12, 8, 9, 10, carry 3, 4, 5. Okay, I have two decimal places in my problem, so I need two decimal places in my answer. So my bottom layer is 50.24. So then I just need to multiply that by the number of layers. Well, let's say that my height is 5 centimeters. So then I would take 50.24 and multiply that times 5. 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12. 5 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. 5 times 5 is 25. I have two decimal places in my problem, so I need two decimal places in my answer. So that means that the volume of the cylinder would be 251.20 centimeters cubed. So I'm talking about the number of cubes that would fit inside, then I need my answer to be cubed or raised to the third power. So that is um, volume for a cylinder.